And let's make this dish. Hi, thanks for tuning in to Let's Make This Dish. I'm your host, Scott Eric, and today is going to be a fun day. I am in another fantasy kitchen. I cannot tell you, I feel like I'm in the Taj Mahal, really. That's how big this kitchen is. In fact, it's, this kitchen is half the size of my restaurant, Scott's on Fifth. So this is a dream kitchen to cook in today. Okay, now, I want to, for, for one thing, I want to thank everyone for all your emails, all your support, and enjoying the show, and I'm learning that you really do enjoy these dishes. So, today what we're going to be doing is, it's the time of the year where the parties, everyone's having a party. They're having a pool party, they're having a barbecue, someone gets up in the morning, they're having a party. So, I got something that's really quick and easy that you can do, it takes just minutes, and you can take it by itself to a dish to the party. And then we're gonna do a sauce, a sweet and spicy sauce, over the corn salsa with some grilled fish. It all sounds kind of confusing, but when we do it, you're gonna see how fast it is and how it works. So, today we're gonna start with the corn salsa, which we have a bag of 14 ounce corn. In the summertime, when the corn is fresh, you can use fresh corn and cook it up. Uh, However you like, you can grill it, you can do it in the microwave, boil it. So this is bad corn. Uh, I'm gonna be using some corn from Iowa from my friend Scott and Allison as soon as they get back. Uh, it's a sweet corn. But this will do for today. So I have a 14 ounce bag of corn. I have, I already diced up and chopped up uh, tomatoes, two Roma tomatoes. I'm not really a good chopper. And please don't beat yourself up if you're not really good at something in the kitchen. I have a Wilmer, and a Wilmer is the best chopper, so we'll get, we'll get to that on another show. So here you put in two tomato, the two Roma tomatoes, two teaspoons of oregano. Now I've learned by experience, go easy with the cayenne, because when I did this the other day, let me tell you, fire! And this is a quarter teaspoon, not a half a teaspoon. So put that in there. I have my salt my cider vinegar, some green onion, and another little tip I wanna tell you, you know that cooking spray? If you have to measure out honey, spray the interior of the bowl or whatever you're measuring, and watch how easy the honey just comes out. Honey, honey. Okay, so just look how fast that is. We're just gonna mix this up. Combine the flavors, then you want to chill it for just a second. This is so good. And there you have corn salsa. How quick was that? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the stove on here. Remember, it's not my stove in the restaurant. This is a designer stove. So let me turn this on and we're going to get the pan heated up and I'm going to grill some fish and we're going to come back and we are going to make this sweet and sour sauce. Oops, I have the wrong one on. Hold on. I told you, I always mess up something. See you in just a second. Okay, I've got the corn salsa chilling. I poured myself a glass of wine like I always do. Today it's a Sauvignon Blanc because it's going to cut the heat a little bit because this dish is sweet and sour and sassy. Okay, let's make the sauce. This, as you know, this piece of equipment in some kitchens is extinct. You only use it for two things, a margarita and a pina colada. But today, I'm going to show you what you can do with this. So, we're going to take about eight ounces of pineapple. I use I chopped fresh pineapple, or you can use canned pineapple. Drain the juice out. I have some brown sugar. I have some rice wine vinegar. Yeah, we're going to Indonesian. I got some soy sauce and some ketchup right there. The 
looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, we're gonna turn the blender, you're gonna puree this. So let's turn this piece of equipment on and I'm not really talking. You can't hear me. You want this to be pureed smooth. So, regard, depending on your type of blender, that's how quick that was to make. So, what we're going to do is you're going to take a pan on the stove and we're going to pour the sauce, the sauce that you just made with me, in. Okay? Then we're going to go to the next step. There you go. Now, I'm going to turn the stove on. You want it on a medium heat and then you're going to take four teaspoons of water and you're going to mix it in with some cornstarch and just mix that in there and you just want to heat this up for just I'd say maybe a minute, maybe two minutes just so it thickens just a little bit and this is your sweet and sour and sassy sauce okay so what I'm going to do now is we've got the corn relish made we've got the sauce made and what do we Done. Three, four minutes, five max. Now what we're going to do is finish the dish. We're going to grill a piece of fish and put it all together and drink some more wine. Be right back. Okay, we've got the salsa done. We've got the sauce done. Now, you, like I told you before, you could use this with chicken or fish, and today I've chosen to use some grouper. So I'm heating up my grill pan, and I'm going to be spraying it with some cooking spray, and then we're going to add the fish, so we want to get this nice, there you go. I've got some grouper fillets here, Ooh, you can hear the sizzle already, get some nice grill marks there. Now naturally you can do this outside on a grill, and actually you can do this any grill at the beach. This is a great beach dish. But, you know, if the weather's not really accommodating to you, you can just do it and have yourself a little picnic inside like I do today. So let's finish up. We're going to grill this. This should take, uh, depending on the temperature that you like, I like my fish cooked well. So we're going to take the time to cook this and we're going to come right back and we're going to put this dish together and we're going to eat this dish. See you in a minute. Okay, all right, we're, we're back and we're almost ready to put this dish together. The, the fish is done grilling, I've got the corn salsa, i got the sweet and sour sauce, let's put it together and let's eat. Okay, I've got my grouper, i put a little bit of corn salsa, look at that, does that look good? Oh. And some of the sweet and sour sauce. Just drizzle that right on the Your friends are going to love you if you take this over to their house. You're going to be like a cooking god. Okay. And remember, we're going to go to letsmakethisdish.com. You can get the recipes. You can contact me. You can tell me whatever you want. Let me know how you like the dish. So. Let's taste this. This is so good. I would serve this for a dinner party if I were you. So enjoy. I'm Scott Eric, your host of Let's Make This Dish. Cheers to you. See you next time.